Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number 44 from Mirage Studios. The Violent Underground. This came out February 1992. And this was done by Rick Arthur. He covered everything in the story, the art, the letters. And uh, yeah, we start off with Raphael fighting with this woman named Lucindra. I guess we're supposed to know who she is. I don't know. But they, they appear to be good friends. They... Uh, like to spar a lot, so they're fighting, and she kicks his ass. <laughs> she beats up Raph four out of five times. I don't know how I feel about that, but whatever. So yeah, he she basically beats him up. He wants to continue fighting, but she says, you know, I gotta go. You know, I, I can come back tomorrow, and I'll spar with you then. And so Raph heads back to the lair where all of his brothers are at, and they're all asking him, like, you know, dude, you're, you're late. What's going on? And Raph is kind of depressed, and he basically explains that he lost a fight to a girl. And his brothers kind of laugh at him for a bit. And uh, the church is like, hey, like, you know, if you fought her that means she's in loss, that means she's got to be really good, right? Can we meet her? And even Splinter wants to meet her. But Raphael is like, no, not right now. And uh, yeah, he is basically bummed out. He's kind of depressed and upset that he got his ass kicked by a girl, I guess. And so we see uh, Lucindra, and she is walking through the, the really bad part of New York City. Uh, we just see like a bunch of bums and homeless people and poor people and gangsters and people just kind of living off the streets and stuff. Everything's kind of kind of like covered in graffiti and litter and garbage and stuff. And on their way to her apartment, she gets stopped by this one guy who basically says, I have a message for your brother. Uh, he, he's running out of time to, to pay me back or to pay up. And she just basically tells him, you know, drop dead. And she goes into her apartment building. And, um, yeah, as she goes inside. These Foot Clan soldiers show up and they stab him from behind and kill him. So I guess the Foot Clan was following her. So I thought, okay, that's going to lead somewhere, right? She's going to get like, attacked in her home or something, right? Uh, so then she shows up in her apartment and her brother is there and he's like I said he's basically like a, a deadbeat brother who is constantly hard for cash and he's constantly like in trouble and has to pay off debt basically he, like he's in debt to like his mom like his mom he mom gave him money so he can pay off his debts and nothing happened he, he's now he's still in debt uh, so he's basically trying to get money from his sister he's trying to mooch off her she's like no like I, I refuse He's like, come on, like if, if you don't help me, they're gonna like break my legs or something. And she's like, Well, that's your problem. Like you're the one who keeps putting yourself into this situation. Like I don't I, I'm not gonna keep trying to bail you out with my hard earned money. Like I, I'm barely surviving enough as it is. I'm not gonna be uh constantly getting dragged down by your shit. So either you deal with this on your you know, on your own, get yourself out of this mess. And um yeah, I mean that's it. Like I'm not I'm not paying you. So then I was like, okay, this is interesting. Is this going to go somewhere? Is he like maybe uh, the Foot Clan show up and they offer to pay off his debts if he works for them and now she has to deal with fighting her brother who works for the enemy or something? No, this goes nowhere. <laughs> Literally, um, she, he asks for money, she shoots him down, and then he just disappears. And this never brought up again. This issue ends with a, the end rather than a to be continued. Well, I guess it kind of, so it, it's kind of like, all right, where's that? That story just kind of ends nowhere. It, it reminds me of like the room where like you're bringing up subplots and then they just kind of end. And it's almost like you kind of forgot about it. But yeah, so meanwhile, Raphael is, uh, he's still just like really bummed out and he doesn't want to do anything. And the brothers are like, dude, like we're a family. We're, we're a team. We're supposed to support each other. We're supposed to help and, and protect each other. Like, we need you. You can't just keep going your own separate way. And Raphael's like, you know, I, like, you don't understand. And he's like, you know, I, I don't want to hear a lecture. Let's leave me alone. And he basically says, like, you're obsessed with defeating this woman that it's made you weak. Like, you've turned from us. We, how, how can we trust you if you're no longer here to help us and stuff? Like, never see that woman again because she, she, she's she's not being a good influence on you in the sense that you're so obsessed with trying to beat her that you're 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 forgetting about us so just forget about her altogether anyways 
Raphael uh, is chilling out, waiting for her to show up the next day, and she does. And he basically leads her to this new area. Um, he, he basically says, like, you know, I don't want my brothers and stuff to see you and things like that. So we got to find a new area where we can fight. And as they go to this new area, all of a sudden they get ambushed by a bunch of Foot Clan. And then we have a fight scene with Raphael and, and, and the woman, Lucindra, fighting off the Foot Clan. And during the fights, uh, Raphael... I mean, he's able to hold off his own for a while, but eventually he gets stabbed and she gets stabbed by a bunch of shurikens and Raphael goes down. Uh, he, he just, he passes out. Um, Lucindra goes and, you know, pulls him out of the water and tries to help him and she fights off the rest of the Foot Clan on her own and then she passes out as well. And that's when the other turtles show up and it turns out that the shurikens were covered in poison. And they basically carry Lucindra and Raphael back to their lair where they heal them both up and they all leave except for Raphael. Raphael basically says like, hey, I spoke with Splinter Leonardo. I told them about how good you fought and how you saved my butt in that ambush. Uh, we were wondering if you want to train with us. And she turns him down. She says, no, I, I don't want to you know, train to be a fighter for my entire life. And ninja training is, is too hard. I'd have to lose a lot of my own life to dedicate myself to ninja training. So, like, you know, I can't do that. I've already turned my back on my family and uh, my brother, and they need me. So I can't, you know, I can't train with you. Uh, but she's like, you know, maybe I'll see you again sometime. And then she leaves. And uh, Raphael sadly says, you know, goodbye until next time. And that's how it ends. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't like the fact that... I just don't like the fact how it, maybe it's just it reminds me too much of modern day comics where Raphael basically got carried by this woman. This woman pretty much, I mean, Raphael is someone who's supposed to like train his entire life by a master, you know, master splinter in, in the ninja ways. And I know they're still teenagers, but still they, they've been training their entire lives and stuff like that. He's someone who's fought, he's fought regular Foot Clan before. And now all of a sudden he can't hold his own against them. I mean, I guess you can say he was poisoned, but she was poisoned too. How was she able to survive the poison longer and take out the Foot Clan on her own while poison, while Raphael passes out? Like, I don't know. I, I just, I didn't like how one-sided it was. It would have been better if they were both kind of more equal and stuff. It, it basically, it's just like, oh, she's so much better than us. Like, she's so much better than me. She should train with us because we can learn a lot from her. And then she says no, and she goes and does her own thing. It's just kind of like, uh, okay. Plus there's, um, I don't know, maybe he's just me. I just, I didn't really care about that. Not to say that I wanted him to beat her up or anything like that, but I would have liked if it was more close. Or maybe like Raphael's the one that usually wins and then she beats him the one time. And then he starts feeling down like, am I losing my touch? Like what's going on? And maybe he fight, he trains with her again and she beats him again. And then that can be like where he starts sinking into like depression. It's like, what's going on? Why am I getting weaker like or you know is there something wrong with me that, that would be like an interesting thing but it's just yeah she just basically beats him up and he keeps getting depressed like he he keeps getting beaten by a woman like i don't know i that doesn't really seem like Raphael. but um i also don't like the fact that like it, like you you brought up the brother thing and the brother thing took up a big portion of the story and then you do nothing with it it just kind of ends and uh so it's not like we're going to get a continuation of that. So it's like you set up things and then you don't play it off. So uh, I also would have liked if maybe like at the end, maybe Raphael spawn, uh, spars with her and then he finally beats her and he gets his closure. But he doesn't. He never gets his closure. So it's like he gets all depressed and sad about not being able to beat up this girl. They get ambushed by ninjas. She one-ups him. like she, she lasts longer than him and she actually takes them all out on her own after he passes out and then he offers her you know to train with them and she says no and then she leaves him and says maybe i'll see you sometime and that's it and it's kind of like okay was this character just introduced to one of the turtles and just didn't walk off into the sunset <laughs> like what's going on here and why 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 the whole brother situation when it goes nowhere like is this like gonna continue in some kind of spinoff or something I don't know. It just it it just feels really weird. It feels incomplete. 
So yeah, there you go. There's issue number 44. Not the biggest fan of it. There we go. The Violent Underground, issue 44 of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Later. So what'd you guys think of that video? Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.